Hello everybody, it is Magma, and I am very happy to present to you guys this new LEGO Star Wars review. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the set 7283 from LEGO Star Wars from 2005. This is the ultimate space battle. And to be honest, this is also the ultimate LEGO Star Wars from 2005. Now this set was a Target exclusive in the US and a LEGO Store exclusive in the Europe, or in Europe and this set was fairly hard to get. So what can I say too much about this set? Well, all of these sets, you can pretty much get them. This one came separately, or should I say individually, with one of the Buzz Droids as a $10 set. The Anakin's Starfighter and one of the Vulture Droids came in as a $20 set individually. And that is the same model. These two Volt Droids are the same. So this uh, Obi-Wan Starfighter is the only thing that makes this set different, or should I say special. So as the minifigures go, you have two Buzz Droids included. Those are the old versions, not the new, cool versions. And you also have Obi-Wan and Anakin. So uh, that's pretty much it when you just look at the set there isn't that much to go on about it um, so without further ado let's take a look at these awesome minifigures you do have two domes such as this minifigure right here and arch d2 and we'll take a look at these minifigures and then we'll get right back to you to have a look at this set our first minifigure included is Anakin Skywalker with the headset now I believe this is the same one that comes from the Jedi Interceptor and Vulture Droid, which is his Starfighter and the Vulture Droid other set. Uh, he does have no back printing. Remember, this is 2005. And as the time I'm doing this, this set is most likely 10 years old. Look at his torso print. He has a regular lightsaber. One hand is flash. One hand is uh, with a little uh, leather on it. And here's a look at his headpiece without the hairpiece. So yeah, he has no double-sided face. Again, this minifigure is quite old. And I did enjoy this little headpiece or hairpiece when it came out. It had a nice look to him, but I'm unsure which uh, new hair I like between the one from nowadays or the old one. So that is Anakin Skywalker. Let's take a look at Obi-Wan Kenobi. So this is Obi-Wan Kenobi, and when I got this minifigure at first, I did realize I did point out a mistake that nobody did comment, and it when I did the review on the his uh, blue Starfighter with the hyperdrive booster ring, I mentioned this was the only edition to come with his headset printed, and no, that is wrong. He does come in this set with the headset on his face. Maybe you can see it. I'll show you guys in a second on his face. First up, no back printing and here's a look at his front print. Comes with a regular lightsaber and yeah he does come with the headset in this set as well so my bad sorry but <laughs> I didn't know this. And I'll just place his hairpiece back up. There you go. So yeah, so that is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let's move on to the Buzz Droids now. Now there are only two Buzz Droids included inside this set. As you can see there, it's a mini build type of figure. Comes with a little chainsaw, as you can see there. It has its battle droid, dark gray legs, and some pieces. Those are printed pieces here on the top, um, as you can see. Trying to get you guys a good angle view on that. So yeah. And it can hold up its chain or its chainsaw in two ways. Which the box displays as one like this and the other one like so. To be clear, only two of these or two of these buzz droids are included inside the set. So that is it for the buzz droid. We'll move on to the actual set itself, which is amazing, and we'll take a look at that right now. So 
So starting up here with the Tridroid. Now this set is sticker and not sticker heavy. So yes, there are a lot of stickers as you can see that goes out throughout this ship. And actually a few of these are actually printed pieces. Um, so yeah, this is printed, this, this, and more on the other sides. So as far as weapons go, you can see it has a gun here, a gun right here, a main blaster, and another one right here, which is why it's called a tridroid, as well as some engine pieces right there, and its eyes right here. So this set really doesn't have that much play feature to it. You can open up these and place a buzz droid inside so I'll try that to place the buzz droid inside you must follow uh, these kind of instructions type of thing fold his chainsaw sideways and pull its leg up <laughs> so yeah nothing too hard placing him in is another it's not really hard <laughs> And there you go, he is stored inside and the buzz droid can take him and release him right in front of Obi-Wan's starfighter to cause conflict in the battle. So that is it really for the uh, tri-droid, there isn't that much to it, it's just a really, really great cool mini build and yeah, as you can see it's <laughs> kind of doubting on how I've built this one. <laughs> so yeah, I think that is how it's built. <laughs> So that is the Tridroid guys, uh, let's move on, on to the Vulture Droids. So here we have a look at both of our Vulture Droids. Now as you can see they are quite sticker heavy, this one is in position when he has his head up and this one is in his flying mode, so yeah. So as you can see both of these two Vulture Droids are very very sticker heavy, they have 8 stickers each. Considering that the Tridroid has over 8 stickers for itself and each of the uh, individual starfighters have 4, actually 6 stickers each. So there are various stickers placed all over the set and if you get this set from somebody else, make sure all the stickers are well placed otherwise the set could look very ugly. Now having a look at this Vulture Droid, this one is in walking mode, so he can go ahead and walk around. As I have done, I have removed the helm, the head, not the helmet, <laughs> so I have removed the head from the pin, and this is how it looks like. There is a pin right here, and the head, and you just place it in the pin and out, choosing the position of your Vulture Droid, and these... Uh, rotating wings are on hinges like so and they come with blasters here on the side and right here blasters you can move them kind of sideways but there isn't much there isn't many reasons why you would do so and the last thing you can do with one is you can actually be removing these wings panels type of thing <laughs> It's legs, I could call it, and have them look like this. Now, I prefer the first walking or flying mode compared to this one. Uh, I don't really enjoy this look. I think it looks very bland, but you can choose however you want to have both your Vulture Droids because there are two included anyways. <laughs> Which is something LEGO never does anymore. So this is how it looks, really not much. Or you could have it look like so, which I find much more interesting. So those are the two Vulture Droids included inside. So we now right here have Anakin's Jedi Starfighter included in the set. Excuse for all the dust, I haven't had time to dust it yet because I don't know how I will do that considering there are various stickers and I cannot use water. But don't worry, this set will be dusted <laughs> eventually. So Anakin's minifigure will be used in a second. Here I'll show you guys the panels um, and the entire look that this Starfighter has. 
as you can see it is uh, very very nicely um, built and so on I do enjoy a lot the color scheme which is its main main point so here as you can see we have R2D2 uh, only the dome and this is the old version so there isn't that much to show you guys uh, I'm pretty sure you all have this minifigure anyways so yeah so here's a look at the panel and it opens up like so this is a sticker and this is also a sticker so there are actually nine stickers included uh, no eight stickers included in this set so in this little starfighter so yeah that's the panel and we do have another one under here and two other ones on the other side that will give you a nice look so try to get that look So since they are very loose, it's uh, very hard to give you guys that look. As you can see, one of them is not functioning with me. So yeah, it usually has this nice look to it, and this one would be up like so. But mine is way too loose, <laughs> and it just falls down. So those are the wings, they all have that sticker that has been shown right there. Uh, however, the Starfighter does look a little bit neater, like so. So, what we can see throughout the Starfighter is also some nice cannons here at the front. Um, and right here, and right here. There is landing gear for this set, which comes up like so. And here at the back, can come up. Personally, I do not use the landing gear, which makes the set look a bit too high sometimes, a bit too low some other times, unproportionate. So yeah, <laughs> as you can see, it doesn't look that great like so. So, since there is a entire base right here, I do not use the landing gear. And it looks much better like so. And let's have now a final look at the cockpit. As you can see, those are two printed pieces. So it has many printed pieces, but also uh, many unprinted pieces, more like stickers. Those are the engines, and the cockpit comes up just like so. You have a full axis inside, two controls, one of these uh, antenna pieces that allows us, or would allow him, to control his ship. Now I'll take my Anakin and put him in the ship. The Starfighter is proportionate to the actual main figure and his lightsaber can be placed like so and according to the instructions it does close up and the lightsaber does not come out. Then yeah that, that's really it to Anakin's uh, Starfighter. It's just a nice looking ship stay up tuned for the comparison to the 2014 edition and yeah so let's move on to the final uh, set the Obi-Wan's Starfighter so the most exciting part about this Starfighter is the fact that one has been rumored to come out in the 20 what was it 2015 2016 winter wave one has been rumored to come out so I am unsure about that, but we'll stay tuned if one comes out. And here is our Obi-Wan, which we'll place inside right away. Here's a look at the entire Starfighter. It has some nice engines, some nice wings. Uh, it is different. It is a different model, such as color scheme and different building ways as the Anakin's. Um, and I'll show you guys that right away. So what's really different are the cannons. Uh, they are not exactly the same as the ones in the Anakin's and mainly these color schemes right here and so on. So here is a sticker. It's a nice look at the wings. The panels are also uh, stickered. 
this is a printed piece and this minifigure or a dome of a astromech droid is also included in the viewing starfighter so that is interesting however now i have two of them i think it's rp44 or something like that i'm unsure about the name uh, i couldn't find it since i don't have the box so yeah so nice look at the cannons this is also a printed uh, piece and these are cannons on the sides and again another look at the print, uh, the stickers so remember there are eight stickers on this starfighter just as the other one it has the same landing gear and also right here they are on hinges now this one isn't as loose as the Anakin's I am unsure I don't want to say that it's on loose it could be loose I don't know let's give it a try there you go so yeah it's not that loose this one's actually kinda nice and that is the look that it has so in my opinion this one is a little bit too red compared to what it should be from the movie Hopefully, if the rumors are true, we will be seeing a much more accurate edition of this this winter, so that is exciting. Let me showcase. Now, this is a custom edition. It is the same uh, model, so it's technically the same, all the same pieces, just different color schemes used around, and I'll just give you guys a quick comparison of that, of my model compared to Legos. So, as you can see, Legos is way 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 more red it's a nice look at it and here is a nice look at my model so now I could be uh, I have to say this is accurate this entire red part right here is accurate and it is something that I could not have the pieces to do on my own model however uh, this back part is not as entirely red as uh, the actual model and this is where I can beat Lego by having more gray right here so yeah that's just a little bit of showcasing on my custom model uh, there is a separate video on this entire model on the channel if you guys are interested just search custom Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor so for the inside it rolls just the same look at the engines quickly for the inside, it rolls just the same as Anakin's. Yeah, some control panels right here. Here's a little bit of space if you want to keep something. I don't think anything would really fit. Maybe a second figure, but I could be wrong. And yeah, <laughs> lightsaber kind of fits in there. There you go and that is how it looks and you can just fly around and that is making me have doubts I, I'm actually interested in knowing whether you can place a minifigure back there I don't think so I don't think anybody would fit so if you squish him inside maybe so now you have Obi-Wan flying the ship and Anakin whispering what he should do <laughs> So there you go, so that's the Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor, let's have a look at the overall set and final thoughts to conclude this video. So my overall thoughts on this set, well what can I really say, this is just a perfect set. Of course it's, it's 2005 so uh, some of the techniques used and pieces are outdated, some of the pieces kind of fall off sometimes or don't really clip that well and there are a few complaints that I could make towards this set but the way LEGO actually sold this um, I thought they should have sold this much more open giving access to everybody because this is just perfect for fifty dollars you're getting two interceptors which nowadays you have to pay thirty dollars for only one of them and you get two interceptors so that's already amazing you can recreate that scene plus you get two vulture droids to play around 
and uh, fight over your, uh, your your interceptors. I mean, if you would have gotten one, that would have already been amazing, but you get two. And on top of that, you get the Tridroid, which is just amazing. So you get everything you need to recreate in one set. You don't have to buy all the different sets like you do nowadays. And each one of them costs like $30, and it's, I don't know, $120 if you want to get the entire of it. Um, so that is just incredible. And this is where I think LEGO went wrong. They should have sold this set much more open, such as all the stores and so on. And maybe sold, I don't know, maybe the Tridroid by itself, uh, harder to find. So that is it. Uh, that is my overall thoughts on this set. I'll go ahead and conclude this review by showing you guys the instruction manual. So since I do not own the box, here is the instruction manual to the set. You can get it online if you think you have the pieces to build a Vulture Droid or uh, build one of the Starfighters. Or should I say Interceptors actually. So yeah. So I could have got this set with the box, but I got this for $50. I got this retail price actually. And uh, if I would have got, if, if I would have uh, paid the one with the box, I would have paid another $50. So yeah, and I was actually very short on money, so <laughs> that came out really well. Let me show you guys a bit of the other models. This instruction manual is old, but in very, very good shape. There you go, you have Obi-Wan Starfighter going on for the Vulture Droids. The entire build is a times two. So all the different positions it can go on. So that is it for the instruction manual, guys. Thanks for watching this LEGO Star Wars review. And I do hope to see you guys next time on the Magma Studios channel for another LEGO Star Wars review. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.